One thing that's for sure, when it comes to the NFL, no matter who your favorite team is, no matter who your favorite players are, because that's where you really start to find out about it, it's the fact that the NFL is a business. It is a very tough business. It's a very cutthroat business. It's an entertainment business, but it is a business. And in business, tough decisions have to be made, both by franchises and by players themselves. And J.K. Dobbins, he is no stranger to the business. And it seems like J.K. Dobbins is letting it be known that maybe, just maybe, the business could possibly get in the way of him remaining a Baltimore Raven. J.K. Dobbins took to Twitter today and he said, Baltimore, Ravens flock. I hope I'm here till the end of my career. I love you. And right then and there, it's like, whoa, 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 what are you saying that for? Where, where, where is that coming from? And then he followed that up and he said, I don't know though, sadly. And Honestly, that's real. That's real. But where, where could this be coming from? We're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, but before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn your notifications on. Because next week is going to be a very special week, especially around Thursday. But anyway, we'll talk about that when we get there. Uh, J.K. Dobbins followed that up, though, and said, I'm Baltimore to and through till I'm gone. So, again, he letting Ravens fans know, especially people in Baltimore. Or, excuse me, Baltimore. My fault. But he let people know, like, hey, I, I love y'all. I ain't got no problem with y'all. I ain't got no problem with the fans. I love the city. I love the team. I love all of that stuff. But it seems like the business could be getting in the way. Now, what could this mean? Where could this be coming from? Well, it could be a couple of different things. One, it could be money. It could be contract talks. Maybe with J.K. Dobbins, he's in such a big year this year. Him, Gus Edwards, they both in the last uh, years of their deals. Uh, but with J.K. Dobbins... Um, it was always expected, at least in my opinion, that he would be the one that the Ravens would keep around. Uh, reason being because when they drafted J.K. Dobbins, they had J.K. Dobbins, they had uh, Mark Ingram, uh, and they also had Gus Edwards. Now, um, with Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins, their contracts ended. Once they re-signed Gus Edwards to that deal, his contract ended the same time, same time Excuse me, J.K. Dobbins' contract ended. Uh, and that would be after this season. So I expected, especially with J.K. Dobbins being their second round pick, Gus Edwards being an undrafted free agent, especially the, the way that they treated the two, the way that they played the two on the field, uh, it seemed like they would be leaning more towards J.K. Dobbins. But with this statement, J.K. Dobbins let it be known like, oh, well, hey, maybe it ain't so sweet as far as the money, as far as the contract, as far as even if there is a contract offer, it could have been a possibility. And this is just me thinking out loud of different things that I think this could be coming from. It may be a possibility that J.K. Dobbins and his agent, his team, they attempted to engage with the Ravens in contract talks. And one of two things happened. Either the Ravens said, no, we don't want to discuss a contract, and they shut that down from jump. Or if they did discuss a contract, it was something that J.K. Dobbins and his people just were not feeling like that. That's one of the scenarios that I think it could be. And when it comes to the contract, comes to how much you're trying to get paid, how much you want to get paid, how much money you want to make, as we know, that can make or break relationships. Because again, like we said at the beginning of this video, the NFL is a business, and it's a very, very tough business. Now, another thing that I think it could be, and all these are real possibilities, but another thing that I think it could be, could be the scheme. It could be the scheme since Todd Munkin is known to be a pass-heavy offensive coordinator. And the Ravens just acquired Odell Beckham Jr., Nelson Aguilar. They drafted Zay Flowers. They still got Rashad Bateman coming back. Of course, you got Mark Andrews, who's at OTA today, by the way. You got Isaiah Likely. You got all these passing options. Uh, and, and the passing game has been what most people have been talking about this offseason, especially myself. Y'all know we've been talking about that for the longest. But it really seems like the Ravens are going to be going in the direction of a lot more passing. Now, I'm not saying that J.K. Dobbins as a running back can't get involved because as a running back, you're involved in the passing game as well. Because you're going to have some check downs come your way. You're going to have some dump offs come your way. You're going to have some passes come your way. So he, he will certainly be involved in the passing game, but to what extent? And how much will the new weapons that have been added take away from him? See, this is the type of problems that have been brought up a lot. When people bring out the problem about weapons, oh, what if, uh, what if somebody's not happy with their, with their involvement in the offense? And again, this could be the scenario. I'm not saying that it is because we don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I'm just saying some different possibilities that it could be. But in my opinion, it's still a good problem to have when you got a lot of weapons that just makes things a lot easier for everybody. Everybody. There are going to be some games where some people don't get to contribute as much, where they don't get to go off as much. But 
is in my again in my, in my opinion in the business side of things is a good problem to have because it makes your team that much harder to defend it makes your team that much harder to go up against but anyway that is another possibility i think it could be the scheme like jk dobbins is like man i'm not liking the way that this offense is looking for me right now it's not really looking promising for me right now so i i don't know i, I had planned to go off this year but the way that this offense is i don't know i don't know so because I, I just I just really don't think that this is these tweets. I, I really don't think this is coming out of nowhere. I, I just I just don't. Could it be? Hey, maybe it's just J.K. Dobbins thinking out loud. Maybe he just forewarning Ravens fans about hey, maybe the, the talks that he had with the front office. They may not have went so smoothly. Now, another thing that I think it, the, could, it could possibly be one more thing is that maybe he knows about the Ravens possibly bringing somebody in, bringing somebody in of significance at the running back position. I know Dalvin Cook, um, he, he, it's been talked about, Dalvin Cook and trade rumors and whatnot. A lot of people feel like he's going to the Miami Dolphins, and that's a sure thing. But, and, and, again, this is me just thinking out loud. I ain't hear nothing. I don't know nothing. I'm just saying. And even if it wasn't a Dalvin Cook, maybe the Ravens are bringing in somebody of significance at the running back position. Maybe. Again, maybe. I, I don't know. And then J.K. Dobbins may have got word of that and be like, oh, oh, okay, they, oh, they bringing him in? But they got me, they got, they got Justice, they got Keith. Oh, but they bringing him in? Okay. I get it. I know the game. So those are three different uh, scenarios that I think it could be. But either way, even if none of those scenarios happen, this is something that we've discussed going into this season, because it's something that we're all aware of. With J.K. Dobbins being in the final year of his deal, hey, this, this, is, this is a huge season for him. Like, this is such a huge season for so many different people, and for so many different reasons. Lamar Jackson, he just got paid the big contract. All right, let's get it now. Really show him your worth now. I mean, you done showed him your worth already. Now it's time to really show him. And the Ravens done got you some nice stuff too. Oh, and a new offense? Ooh, let's go. But there's some people in some other positions who are trying to get paid. Rashad Bateman. This is third year. After this season, Ravens got to make the decision. Hey, are we going to pick up that fifth-year option or no? Adafi Away, this is third season. After this season, they got to figure out if they're going to pick up the fifth-year option or no. David Ajabo, hey, last year was a red shirt year. You ain't really played that much last year. Hey, this year, we ain't signed no outside pass rushers yet. So it's on you. It's on your boy Adafi Away. It's on Tyus Bowles. It's on y'all. You going to step up or what? What's good? What's going on? Michael Pierce, all right, we let Calais Campbell go. He went to the Falcons. We released him. Now, that interior, that defensive line, it's on you, my friend. What are you going to do? And the list goes on and so on and so forth. But if we narrow it down to the running backs, J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards, last year of your deals, what are you going to do? And see, with them, they're in a very tough position because remember last year, Think about this. Think about this. Remember last year when J.K. Dobbins, and this was under Greg Roman, and we all know Greg Roman, run game guru, specialist, enthusiast, whatever. J.K. Dobbins, a running back, he complained about the offense. He complained about a run-first offense. How is that possible? If J.K. Dobbins was a wide receiver, hey, okay, I get it. He was a tight end, okay, I get it. He was even a quarterback, okay, I get it. But a running back. Complaining about a run-first offense. That's an issue. That's a problem. So now think about this. Now, with the offense not expected to be as run-heavy, not nearly as run-heavy as they were in the past, you got to wonder. Did J.K. Dobbins see that? Did J.K. Dobbins really been studying that playbook and be like, whoa, ooh, I don't know about this one. Mm, looking so good for me. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Again, like I said, I don't know nothing. I ain't heard nothing. This is just all for my opinion. So we'll see what happens with J.K. Dobbins. Of course, we hope that J.K. Dobbins this year, he explodes. We hope that he can really establish himself as one of the best backs in the league. Really hope that J.K. Dobbins does his thing this year. Because, again, we, 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 we've seen plenty of the potential. We've seen it. But then the usage has been kind of off and on. Then, of course, you know, the Ravens like to they, – they, they don't like to have the guy at running back. They've been having a lot of guys, everybody contributing. And why that keeps guys fresh and whatnot – um, sometimes there will be sometimes when the Ravens will be like, ah, you know, they, they, they will go away from the hot hand and whatnot. And they can be frustrated, but we'll, we'll see how this season goes. But again, with the offense changing, I don't know. It's going to be tough. But again, 
Only time will tell. But anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like J.K. Dobbins is unsure if he will be when it comes to being the Baltimore Ravens in the future. I'm out. <laughs>